Skidoosh! Welcome back. Joey Moss with good old Bibi G. And we are going to play Need for Speed, which is basically any red deck wins or RDW style deck. What these decks are about is just dealing a lot of damage very quickly, rapid succession, some quick draws, and some quick mana stack. That's how it, it works, all right? We are going to run four Gitu Lava Runners, four of the Shocks for two damage to any target, four Lightning Strikes for three damage to any target, four Runaway Steamkins. This card, I'll just take a moment, for those of you newer to the game, to explain how some of these cards interact with each other. Runaway Steamkin is a two-drop, one-one creature, but what makes this thing really cool is whenever you cast a red spell, you get to put a plus one, plus one counter on Runaway Steamkin, and you can use those counters once you have three of them, you can remove three of them, and you can add three red mana to your mana pool. This can become quite abused, especially when you have two Runaway Steamkins out. We're going to run four Viashino Pyromancers, two drop, dealing two damage to a Planeswalker player. 99% of the time, you're going to hit the player in the face. We're going to go four Goblin Chain Whirlers, just to go whoosh of any smaller tokens out there. Plus, that first strike ability is pretty cool. Four light up the stage. This is going to allow us basically not to fill our hand, but to give us two more cards we can look at real quick and say, all right, cool, we can cast these. But let's, let's, let's play them. You know, if it's a land, if it's another spell, whatever it is, we can use it until next turn. We are also going to have four Skewer the Critics because it's just an amazing common card with the spectacle. Uh, spectacle, we just pay it. And then, uh, well, once we do damage to our opponent, we can pay its spectacle cost, which is only one red mana. Pretty cool. Four at Wizard's Lightning. Uh, as long as we have a Wizard out, we can smack him for three. Three Experimental Frenzies and 21 Mountains. The sideboard is pretty base. Uh, dire Fleet, Daredevil, one Lava Coil, two Treasure Maps, Fiery Cannonade, Fight with Fire, Kingdom Phoenix times three, and two Bane Fires. Let's get in to some fun. Let's play rank. I know I never play rank, so we're at the very bottom, but we're going to be on top, baby. We're going to climb to the top one day. All right, let's get into this. All right, rank is something we really don't do much around here on Bad Boy Gaming. Ranks reset about a week ago. Let's play some rank. Let's play some rank. We're just starting off here. I know I've live streamed maybe a couple times and played some rank, so I'm not sure where we're at. Looks like we're really on the bottom of the pole here. Oh, this is a really fun hand, but without drawing that second land, oh man, it, this could be a nightmare to hang on to. But let's gamble. We're open for a little bit of fun. Let's see how it plays out. All right, all right. If you guys haven't noticed by now, Bad Boy Gaming is the more fun aspect of Magic. Some crazy combos, um, some, some wacky brews. We just gambled and won, baby! Uh, <laughs> that was huge, by the way. But yeah, we like to have fun here. We don't like to just uh, take everything too serious and get crazy. Like it's a, it's a game, guys. I don't know if many of you realize that, but it's a game. You know, so try to have fun with Magic. That's what it's about, baby! All right, we dropped our uh, Steamkin. We are going to wonder what this Atonement is doing in his deck. Oh, I see he's attacking. That makes sense. And we're going to take it to the face. Hopefully he doesn't take out our Steamkin, because that is a really cool card. All right, he drops the Bishop's Soldier. That's the Bishop's, that's the bishop's Soldier there. I think a Goblin Chain Wheeler is probably the way to go right now. Uh, we do have two of them, and it is a nice card to get out early. It's going to hit our Steamkin, but it's going to take out that Atonement, which can really, really create some issues for us. We don't want issues. We don't want to attack because we don't want to lose our Steamkin. That is one of our... Uh, he's, he's like a win con, basically. Well, his mana pumping, like being able to add three uh, red mana to our mana pool, that's really, really big. I don't know if a lot of you realize that. Uh, maybe, maybe some of you do, but maybe, maybe not everyone. The new players might not. He destroyed the wrong card, my friend. You destroy uh, the wrong card, you gain a little life. I had no block. We good. Okay. Now, ooh, let's really get that silliness going here, huh? <coughs> that is good. We can attack. Ink. And then we are probably going to uh, definitely take out his life linker here. Because that is a problem. So we go ahead and skew the critics because we did damage to him. The lifelink against a red aggro, I don't know if you guys are aware, uh, it, it's not good. It's just not good. 
Now we have all this manna right here. What do we do with it, you ask? Well, I'll tell you, my friend. We are going to drop Mr. Viashino Pyromancer. We're going to cause two damage. That's going to trigger off these. Pump up the jam. We'll pump it up while the peat are stumping. Then we can go ahead and use Light Up the Stage. Light Up the Stage is an amazing card because we dealt damage. It has a spectacle, which spectacle is fun. Now we just unlocked a bunch more stuff. We are going to Gito Lava Runner. We are going, <laughs> we are going to pay it up right here. It's like a never-ending loop of we win. We are then going to drop our shock. Smack opponent in the mouth. Trigger off that good stuff. We better... Mm, we, we could use this right meow. I guess we just keep pumping, maybe? We do need three. We got one there. We need three more. I guess we could dump into this right now, too. <clears throat> so then we Wizard's Lightning. Hit his face. That triggers off more Pumpy Pumpy. And then we got a Chain Whirler. Opponent's sitting here like, what is going on here, man? When you have two Runaway Steamkins out, it is chaos, man. We just dropped a lot of cards. <coughs> and you also got to see the power of Lay Up the State. It really is big. Sanctum Seeker. Cool card. A Goblin Chain Whirler. See, at this point, we basically can just uh, full attack, you know, and just wrap up the game. This should close her out. Do that one damage and just swing with everything. That should end it. A very aggressive deck. Let me say. Let me say. Good game, my friend. Good game. Minus five. Cool. Very, very fun. Very fast deck. Uh, reasonable to build, too. It really is. Silver tier four. How about that? We are just, we are just destroying the competition right now. I say let's let's play one more with Need for Speed. Have a little fun. Have a little fun. What's your guys' favorite speedy deck? It could be from past. It could be from modern. It could be from uh, the current standard commander. If you got a really speedy commander deck, there are such things out there, believe it or not. Uh, it could be the legacy. It doesn't matter. Just like, what's your favorite, you know? Ooh, oh, whoo! Okay, anytime. Two Runaway Steamkins, as we just saw from the previous example. It's really good. Bad matchups for this deck are usually Golgari and uh, heavy amounts of life gain, really. But two runaway Steamkins is just pretty cool. Only problem is, I mean, right now Experimental Frenzy is good, but not that good to have because we can't do a whole lot else. Definitely go at runaway Steam. We're up against a Demir, or a gate. We're up against a gate deck. Okay, this could. Usually we should be okay against gates, but that life gain can be issues. And we're going to need to get another land out here. We're in trouble. We do have two runaway Steamkins, which is going to get out of hand real quick if our opponent can't blow us up. And a Produce. Is he running a gate build? I think he is. He's doing something. That is a gate. Okay, discovery is personal. <coughs> if we can get our hands on a land... No, we really don't need a land next turn. Well, we can still get a bunch of stuff down, but a land would be cool. It would help. We got a land. Lands make hard. Okay. We are going to drop G2. Pumping them up. Pumping them up, baby. And then we can go with uh, Viashino to the face. Where? To the face. Oosh! We are going to attack. Quite a bit of damage there. Oosh, oosh! We are going to chill for a sec. We're going to drop our Goblin, Chain Whirler, by using this dude up. Oosh! That is fun stuff. Fun stuff, I know. Um, I think we could Wizard's Lightning as well here. I believe we should. We we'll wait till next turn. We do have a four two. I think it's in our best interest to wait till next turn. So we'll we'll pass the turn there. Now if he doesn't have a board wipe, like a ritual of soot, it's over. Ooh. 
Got him. That was it. All came down to that right there. Like if he had the ritual of soot or not. Skadoosh.